Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Ace Attorney Trilogy. We're going to wrap up Reunion and Turnabout with the final part of the trial now. Uh, you'll notice I'm using a separate save slot here. I had some trouble with recording uh, the episode. I actually have already recorded this and the next one, but it glitched up and lost the audio. So I'm doing it again, which is why I'm on a separate file. You'll also notice my health bars dropped a little bit because I was rushing through. I had to redo the whole case, basically. So I just fast forwarded it and I presented the wrong piece of evidence at one point. So my health bar is not totally full, but that's not a problem. Uh, let's just get going and finish off this case. June 22nd, 12.04 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number three. Is it really true? About my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There is no way Enie could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt, Morgan. That... that's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Ack! Miss Von Karma! Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation? Mm. Looking down on me, even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Hmm. Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. Vu? That's not right. Who doesn't have a W sound? <laughs> Whatever. June 22nd, 12.10pm, District Court, courtroom number two. Court will now reconvene. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Can you prove Miss Amy Meany had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Amy Meany and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection, and that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Meany, please testify to the court about your car accident last year. Sorry, this court. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Meany, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... Last year's accident. That was, like, last year, in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm, I think I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister? Wah! Those were merely rumours, totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes, Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did, in fact, drug Miss Meany's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. Hold it. Didn't some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like, that was in May too. Like, the thing with all the patients dying was, like, May 2nd? And, like, our accident was, like, on the 24th. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was, like, totally tired, so that's why, duh. So that's why, duh. Shh, shh. 
That was the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was cause the medicines, like, got mixed up? Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Mimi? Like, no way. Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis? That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Mimi's fault. Which means as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Mimi is the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. She was totally tired? You mean, exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder, then, that the car accident happened, huh? So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I meant, switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, but, like, I don't, like, have a driver's license? This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Meany. Hmm. Miss Meany, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. Anyway. Okay, so the thing about the license is important because we have a photograph that she got for getting a driver's license, which would suggest that she probably has a driver's license. Ms. Meany. That was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um... What is the meaning of this, Miss Meany? Um... Uh, that's... That, that's right. Y yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hoddy, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What? Are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you know he was perverted? <laughs> no one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November? What? N november The accident happened last May. That's a half-year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Fright. W -w -w what in there? Z -z That's what happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Miss Meany did not have a driver's license. Uh... Ow! Cry and my VIP will accommodate. Anyway. Without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would've, like, let me drive. Hmm. Yow! Don't just stand there humming to yourself. Not you too, Mia, with the whip and the pain and the owl. Miss Meany, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Eh? Um, that's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Meany, if you please. Huh? Like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to be mean. Well, your name is Meany, so... I wouldn't be allowed. Like, around that time I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No way am I letting a noob drive my car. Noob. <laughs> so, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Hmm, I see. A bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm, I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... I 
Okay, so there's an important clue in here. Uh, we have to know about this car and what's special about it. If we press here, it was a new car? Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK? Hmm? The UK? Were those her boyfriend's initials? And it was a really special model. <laughs> she had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess a lot of cars would be the obvious next topic. I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Y yes Please have the witness append what you just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. <sighs> well, if you like cars that much, then that's not my point. Though to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Meany, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. Okay, so this is important. Uh, because this game is ostensibly set in America. Like, it's actually set in Japan, because it's a Japanese game, and it's, it's based on the Japanese legal system, not on the American one, but ostensibly this game is set in America. And in America, the driver sits on the left side of the car. In England, the driver sits on the right side of the car. And that's an important contradiction. Um, because not everyone's going to know that, if you press on this statement, you get told that information. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. I yelled hold it pretty forcefully, but I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Um, so, yes, what am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive, and their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States. See, that's the clue. Just worked it in by having Phoenix mention it. It would seem that there is no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? Y you what do you know? That sleek shape, the purr of the engine, the wild way it starts, it's smooth blah, blah, blah. I hate when they do that. I can't keep up. <sighs> Ugh, forgive me. Personality really changes the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. Okay, so yeah, that's the important contradiction. The fact is, the car is from England, and the steering wheel is on the right side. Because, if we look at some evidence we already have... Uh, I believe it's this one? Yes. You can look at the interview with Miss Amy Meany here, and she says she opened the right door and, like, got out. The right door is the driver's side, because it's an English car. Therefore, something strange is going on. <laughs> Miss Meany, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor. Which side is the passenger's seat, the left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. Ah! What do you mean by this? Miss Meany, you said that you had escaped using the right side drawer of the car. But if you were sitting there, if you were sitting there, then that means you're in the driver's seat. Ah! Uh, order! Order in the court! Order! 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 Ah! Mr. Phoenix Rice blabbering nonsense again. Amy said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Meany. That is what Annie said, yes, but that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix. It looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Annie or Mimi, who was really driving that night? Well, firstly, Annie doesn't have a license. 
And that's verifiable information, it's the truth. She didn't get a license till November, which means the person driving must have been Mimi Mimi, who does have a license. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Mimi. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said... The witness, Miss Amy Meany, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. Next question? Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? Ugh. What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Th this witness's name, this witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is... Mimi Meany. Mimi Meany, that is your real name. Of all the foolish dribble. Then how do you explain her appearance? This, this witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. No, but Mimi Mimi, she, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then, the bodies they found at the crash site? That was the body of the real Amy Mimi. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Mimi? That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Amy Mimi. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Amy. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Mimi from existence. Your Honor. I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Grey. W what do you mean? Ah, what is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Grey wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Mimi. However, that would not have been possible, because Mimi Mimi was still in fact alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And... and... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. What? Well, Miss Eni, I mean, Miss Von Karma. Eek! Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness? That's right, I admit it. My real name is Mimi Mimi. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Mimi wanted her old self to disappear because of this. The malpractice incident. That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Grey was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Mimi. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Mimi had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. 
her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Coming Eenie has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult, I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as... Why did Miss Meanie choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This... this is preposterous. I... I'm perfect. Me, Franziska Von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Ms. Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. And one more for good measure. Phoenix is dead. F Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! This court is a fraud, a sham! Now then, it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. Yes, he's dead. <laughs> so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. Yay! That is all. This court is adjourned. June 22nd, 3.13pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Congratulations, Maya. Sis! Ooh. It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Oh. Hmm. There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke him because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Mimi had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then, you and Lotta would have witnessed quite a scene. I possessed Maya Faye, who had just committed a murder. She had a plan down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks! Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know... But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Meanie with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped me with her plan was... Well, the reason is because Maya is the master and Morgan wants Cole to be the master. But I don't remember which piece of evidence you present to say that. I think if you say Pearl, it might be the one. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Q Rain Village. And that person will be you, Maya. Uh, and? Yeah, I got it right. Um, the previous time I played through, I got this wrong and got the wrong piece of evidence. Um, it doesn't affect anything, you just get a slightly different dialogue here. Uh, and? But if you weren't there, and the main family's bloodline would disappear, and what would happen then? The Blanche family. My aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be... Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was all so that Pearls would become the next master. Y yeah I can see that. 
Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying... I thought so? Gate and time unknown. Detention center. Solit solitary confinement cell 13. My precious pearl. You are the only one suitable to be the master of Q-Rain, dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder, and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. You see that scene regardless of whether you pick the right thing, so if you get it wrong, you still get told what her motive was in that last bit. <laughs> yes, I will save my progress. Okay, so that's it for Reunion and Turnabout. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time we're going to start Turnabout Big Top. Again, I also rec already recorded this, but I'll be able to record it a lot better this time. I got something wrong in investigation and it took way longer than it should have done. So that's good. Anyway, uh, Turnabout Big Top, I feel like I should mention this. This case is quite polarizing for various reasons. Um, some people think it makes no sense, some people think it's just too long. One definite problem with it, which I think I should mention, it's a bit of a triggering thing, uh, there is a character who is a child, she is 16, and multiple adult men propose to her, like marriage, they confess their love and they have rings and stuff, and it's a fairly major part of the case. And it's pretty gross. Um, so if you're not a fan of that, if it makes you uncomfortable, then yeah, don't watch the case. She doesn't actually like get with any of them, but you know, it happens and it's it's gross. So stay safe. Um, if you if you're okay to watch and it's not too triggering for you, then feel free to go ahead and watch the next case. Otherwise you might want to skip ahead to uh I think the next one's called Farewell My Turnabout, I think. It's really good, so definitely skip ahead to that one once I get get to it myself if, if you don't want to watch this next case. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video, and that's it for Reunion and Turnabout. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time we start Turnabout Big Top. Or at least I do, you might not be here, as I said. And